outside of the Bible, there's no physical evidence that Jesus ever existed. There's no skeletal remains. There's no DNA evidence. There's no physical evidence whatsoever that Jesus ever existed. The only so-called proof of Jesus' existence is in the Bible. But what people don't realize, the Bible is just a man-made written book. It's not the word of God, it's the word of man. And most of the stories in the Bible were stories that were stolen from other religions and other myths. The biblical story of Jesus was stolen from the story of Horus, which was written 2,000 years before the story of Jesus was even written in the Bible. Horus had 12 disciples. He was born from a Virgin Mary. He was crucified and resurrected and rose three days later. The same exact story as Jesus, except his story was written 2,000 years before the Bible was even written. This shows that most of the stories in the Bible are just stories and myths stolen from other religions. And they put this in one book to control the masses, to brainwash the masses into believing this fairy tale that never existed. In 3,200 A.C., Krishna was born from a teenage virgin. He had 12 disciples. He was crucified and resurrected three days later. What people don't realize, this story has been told over and over again with different religions throughout history. The only difference between the different religions is the names of the prophets. But the biblical story is exactly the same. And this has been used over and over again to control the masses. To brainwash the masses. Now regardless of what religion you follow or what your beliefs are, it's only human nature that a person is going to follow what they're raised to follow. If you were raised in a Muslim family, you're going to grow up believing in Muhammad. If you were raised in a Christian family, you're going to grow up believing in Jesus. And for a lot of people, no matter what evidence you provide to prove to them that these man-made religions are nothing but bullshit fairy tales, there's some people that are going to believe this no matter what. And this is why I'm against organized religion. Organized religion does nothing but divide people. It does nothing but create chaos. Millions of people worldwide are murdered over religious beliefs. Are murdered and slaughtered over religious beliefs. The only way we're going to have world peace in this world, people are going to have to start thinking for themselves. People are going to have to stop following these man-made religions. Because these man-made religions do nothing but divide people. And like I said, no matter what evidence I provide, there's some people that are going to believe in Jesus no matter what. No matter how much proof I provide showing you that Jesus never existed, showing you that Jesus is just a myth that was told over and over again throughout history with different religions, there's some people that are going to continue to believe this myth. There's some people that are going to continue to believe this fairy tale. Now, I'm not knocking anybody that believes in Jesus. Because like I said, if you were raised to believe this, if you were indoctrinated to believe this, you're going to continue to believe it. There's only a small number of people that are strong-minded enough to not follow what they were raised to follow, to not believe what they were indoctrinated to believe. I just want to encourage more people to be open-minded. 
to understand what critical thinking is. Don't just believe what you're told to believe. Because if any person that has common sense and logic and understands critical thinking knows good and damn well that the story of Jesus is complete bullshit. The story of Jesus is complete bogus. And the same thing goes for the story of Muhammad and the story of Krishna and the story of Buddha. All these different prophets are nothing but man-made fairy tales. Man-made myths. Now, I grew up in a black Christian family. And most black Americans are afraid to question the Bible. And the reason why most black people are afraid to question the Bible is because we were told during slavery to never question the Bible. To never question Christianity. Because the Bible was used to justify slavery. The Bible was used to condone slavery. And this is why to this day, most black Americans will never question the Bible. And if they even hear somebody questioning the Bible, they will cuss them out and criticize them and chastise them. This is why most black atheists in America are afraid to tell their family members they don't believe in Jesus and they don't believe in the Bible. Because if you're a black atheist, you're going to be discriminated against. You're going to be discriminated against by your own family. And this is why most black atheists keep a down low profile. They don't tell their family members their beliefs. They don't tell their friends their beliefs. Because if anybody finds out they don't believe in Jesus and they don't believe in the Bible, they know they're going to get disowned. They're going to get disowned and hated by their own family members. This is how brainwashed most black Americans are by, by the Christianity. This is how brainwashed most black Americans are by Christianity. Now, I'm not an atheist. I'm a deist. A deist means you believe in God, but you don't believe in organized religion. And that's basically my beliefs. I believe in God, but I don't believe in organized religion. Now, I was raised in a Christian family. I was raised to believe every word of the Bible. I was raised to believe in Jesus. But the older I got, the more I started realizing that the Bible is nothing but man-made fairy tales. Everything about the Bible contradicts itself. And the story of Jesus just never added up. It never made any sense to me. And that's when I started realizing that this is not the religion for me. This is not the belief system for me. That's why I'm trying to encourage other people to keep an open mind, do your research, and realize that the Bible is nothing but a man-made book. It's not the word of God, it's the word of man. I think the reason why a lot of people are afraid to question the Bible is because they believe that it's the word of God, that God wrote the Bible. And then you have some people that say, oh, the people that wrote the Bible were inspired by God. That's ridiculous. That's no different than me saying I wrote a book and I was inspired by God. So this is supposed to be the word of God because I was inspired to write it. How ridiculous is that? So for any person to seriously believe the Bible is the word of God, you, you don't understand critical thinking. Because the Bible is a man-made written book. And that's all it is. It's a man-made written book that's used to control the masses. That's used to brainwash people. That's used to divide people. Christianity is basically a slave religion. Because throughout history, people have used Christianity to con control their slaves. They've used Christianity to control their slaves throughout history. And I think people need to realize that this religion does nothing but divide people.